The Golden Doodle is a crossbreed between a Golden Retriever and Poodle, resulting in a designer mix that was originally bred in the late 1960s as a guide dog. Golden Doodles vary in size depending on the size of their parents because Poodles can be miniature or medium size. Today, we'll give you a Golden Doodle Dog Breed Guide. Golden Doodle Puppies to Adults Number 10. History of the Golden Doodle Golden Doodles were first bred in 1969 to be guide dogs, but the breed gained popularity among breeders during the 1990s. This designer mix was bred to combine the non-shedding coat of the Poodle with the desirable temperament of the Golden Retriever. The idea for the crossbreed was inspired by the successful breeding of the Labradoodle, a Poodle and Labrador Retriever hybrid. As one of the most popular domestic dog breeds in the United States, the Golden Retriever was an obvious choice for crossbreeding with the delightfully hypoallergenic Poodle. Golden Doodles have been used as pets, agility dogs, guide dogs, therapy dogs, diabetic dogs, and search and rescue dogs. Their lovability and patience have made them a popular choice for family dogs in recent years. The first three dogs to earn the American Kennel Club Obedience Champion title after its introduction in 1977 were Golden Retrievers, which proves their loyalty and ease of trainability. Poodles were originally bred as Retrievers and Water Dogs and both the breeds scored in the top five of the 150 smartest dog breeds. These genes pass on to the Golden Doodle so owners can be assured of the athletic, intelligent, and obedient companion. Number 9. Appearance Golden Doodles have an extraordinary amount of variation, but each and every one of them is as adorable and cuddly as a teddy bear. Mixed breed dogs with poodle parentage are often prized for their hypoallergenic coats, but it's important to note that most allergy sufferers react to dander rather than fur. Some golden doodles have curly fur, while others have a coat that's shaggy, loose, or wavy. The dogs at Pride and Prejudoodles have been tested to ensure they have the most suitable coats for allergy sufferers. Number 8. Personality as highly social dogs, they need to be with their family and wouldn't do well as outside dogs or in homes where they'd be left alone for long periods of time, which could cause them to develop separation anxiety. The Golden Doodle has not become popular for lack of good reason. His positive personality traits are numerous. He endears himself to everyone he meets with his friendly, intelligent, accepting nature, usually highly affectionate. He's gentle and patient and makes a wonderful family companion, especially since he actively enjoys human company. He is loyal and with proper training can be highly obedient. He does have a playful side and can be mischievous if the mood hits. Temperament is affected by a number of factors, including heredity, training, and socialization. Puppies with nice temperaments are curious and playful willing to approach people and be held by them. Choose the middle-of-the-road puppy, not the one who's beating up his litter mates or the ones who's hiding in the corner. Always meet at least one of the parents. Usually the mother is the one who's available to ensure that they have nice temperaments that you're comfortable with. Like every dog, the Golden Doodle needs early socialization, exposure to many different people, sights, sounds, and experiences when they're young. Socialization helps ensure that your Golden Doodle puppy grows up to be a well-rounded dog, inviting visitors over regularly and taking him to busy parks, stores that allow dogs, and on leisurely strolls to meet neighbors will also help him polish his social skills. Number 7. Living With Golden Doodles are fairly energetic dogs who need room to romp and play. As such, they may not be a good choice for apartments, but would do well in a home with a fenced-in yard. They need about 30 minutes of daily play and exercise to stay fit and entertained. With their high intelligence, they can get bored easily and need activities to keep them out of trouble, 
but they can also be content curling up on the couch for cuddles. If you're crate training them, it's best to provide toys to keep them entertained and to turn on the TV or radio when leaving, so they won't get distressed while they're alone. Although it's possible that they'll take after their golden retriever parents in terms of shedding, golden doodles more typically don't shed a lot. They don't need to be bathed more often than every couple of months unless they get dirty, but they do need to be brushed daily to keep their coats from matting. If their coat is clipped fairly short, which some pet parents prefer, they will only need to be brushed once or twice a week. Number 6. Shedding Some golden doodles might take after their retriever parents, but it's still likely that they'll shed less fur than the average dog. Not only can this be useful for individuals who suffer with allergies, but it's a bonus for any house-proud person who wants the joy of being a pooch parent without excessive amounts of fur on the furniture. Number 5. Feeding When you first get a pup, you're provided a can of wet food and a bag of dry food for the sake of consistency. Suddenly, changing your puppy's diet can lead to stomach upsets. So it's best to either remain consistent with the food they've been eating or very gradually change them over. This involves mixing a small amount of the new food into the old food and gradually increasing the ratio. If you notice that they get ill as a result of the change, it's best to switch back to the previous food. Goldens are prone to bloating, so it's essential to stick to a consistent twice a day feeding schedule throughout puppyhood and adulthood. While it might be tempting to switch over an unfussy adult dog to lower cost food, this can have serious consequences. High quality food is more nutrient dense, which will add years to your dog's life. Always be careful not to overfeed your doodle as obesity is a leading cause of premature death. Number four, grooming. Doodles are generally low to no shedding dogs, but that doesn't mean they don't require regular grooming. The curliest their coats, the more frequently you'll need to brush them and take them to the groomer. Most owners opt to trim Doodle's coat, which prevents matting and decreases the need for brushing. Nonetheless, even a clipped pooch's fur needs attention every couple of weeks to remove debris and stimulate the follicles. Number 3. Golden Doodle Care The fur of a golden doodle varies. They can have wiry, curly hair like their poodle ancestors, or shaggier and straight fur like golden retrievers. Most of the time, their fur is between the two extremes. Though golden doodles don't shed excessively, they still need to be brushed regularly, which removes dead hair and prevents nasty matting. To keep their skin and coat healthy, they need a moisturizing bath every few months. Depending on the dog, a golden doodle may grow long hair over its eyes or between its toes, and appropriate trimming is required. With average to above average energy levels, golden doodles require daily exercise and love to go for walks, runs, hikes, and swims. Their playful nature and retriever genes make them great fetch partners too. Number 2. Common Health Problems Golden Doodles tend to have excellent health if bred responsibly. They may inherit the health problems associated with poodles and golden retrievers, but it is possible that the hybrid minimizes health problems due to their genetic density. Hybrid vigor is a common term used when describing mixed breeds, noting the health and vitality of hybrids between two unrelated breeds. In your puppy search, it's important to find a reputable breeder who is committed to breeding healthy dogs. Poodles and golden retrievers are both prone to hip dysplasia, so a hip exam is highly recommended to keep a potential issue in check. Number 1. Diet and Nutrition Because golden doodles are active, they need a high-quality diet to keep them happy, strong, and energetic. A dry kibble high in protein and fats does the trick. Dry kibble is helpful in removing plaque and promoting general dental hygiene. Corn, wheat, soy, and dairy are common canine food allergies. 
Golden doodles are susceptible to food allergies, so it's a good idea to minimize these ingredients in their diet. Go for a grain-free diet with whole vegetables. The food's first ingredient should be meat. Do let us know in the comments, guys, if you love this breed. Please subscribe to The Amazing Dogs. Thanks for watching.